Primus Mason was born in Munson, Mass and came to Springfield in the 1850s. Primus Mason was African American. Uh, the McKnight area, before it became known as McKnight, had a number of settlements of African American. He had been an indentured servant. Uh, he ran away and he went out west. He made himself a fortune, lost a fortune, uh, rebuilt a fortune again, uh, and he invested heavily in Springfield land. To the gold rush out in uh, California at some point in time, hoping to make a lot of money, but according to the uh, research and information came back, not with a lot of money. worked as an indentured servant and the conditions were quite poor. He escaped from that, settled in this area. He was known as a shrewd businessman and a real estate speculator. One of his businesses was the collecting and burying of dead horses. Real estate was eventually the source of his wealth and success. Mason bought and sold land throughout the hill in England. Investment. Ten years later, he sold to the McKnight for $17,000. The origin of Winchester Square. Primus Mason brought the land in 1850 for $25 and in 1860 sold it for $65 with restrictions that it had to always be for public purposes. In 1885, Mason removed the restriction for $1 from the city so the city could build a fire station there. The remainder of the land the city owned Having been Mason's was named after that time Winchester's Park. So Primus Mason was an African American businessman who uh, donated some land to the city. Mason died in 1892 and left an estate of $37,700, $33,000 of it which was used to start a home for aged men, now the Mason Wright Home. In the 1980s, Winchester Square was renamed Mason Square in honor of Primus Mason's contributions to the city.